క్రాంతి వీర సంగోళి రాయన్ సో దిస్ సిరీస్ అబౌట్ ద అన్సంగ్ హీరోస్ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ఇండియావినుడయ మరకపట్ట మరకడికపట్ట పోట్రపడకూడ వీరర్లుడ వరలారై కాణోమాగ ఇంత పదివు ఆంగ్లతిల్ ఇరుకుం కూడియ బ్రైవిల్ తమిలాకం సైదు వెలిగిడపడం Let's see, go to listen about the great warrior Sangoli Rayana. I want to take breath again and again in this country to continue my fight against the British till they leave this Punya Bumi. This is my last wish before he was hanged by the Britishers. The Tiger of Kitu, Sangoli Rayana, Rura. through these words and expressed his last wish when we go through the pages of the indian freedom struggle not only with britishers with mohals adilsas honas and hilji we can see hundreds of patriots who gave their everything including their life for the sake of the freedom of the motherland today we know only a free few names all others remains unsung heroes are known only in their region example like tamil nadu we know some viravande kattabomman vavu we was sidambaram play so like that few so in karnataka very great freedom fighter he is sankoli rayan people of karnataka known as him the tiger of kittu rayana the great patriot was born on 15th august 1798 in a small village sangoli which was under kittu state at the time now it is in bailavangala taluk of belgam district karnataka he was the second son of brahmappa and kinchava even though brahmappa was separate he was very brave it is mentioned in the folklore of kittu that once he killed a tiger just with the rapier the king of kitur malasaraja like his bravery and asked him to join his army rayana's grandfather was an ayurveda doctor both these characters bravery and awareness of health were in building rayana from his childhood he was an expert in horse riding archery and fencing he used to practice wrestling in a local gymnasium known as gavadiman rayana had very strong psych and mind physical and mind similar to his father he also joined the army and very soon became the chief of the kitur army and his name was the wife of king malasraja she was very good and horse riding archer and sword fighting malasraja died in the year of 1816 leaving chennamo with a son the queen gathered herself from the grief and started to prepare her son for the throne but something else was waiting for her in future she was totally broken by her son in 1824 but she was a queen the people of kitu were looking at her so slowly she started the to participate in the working of the state rayana became her support pillar he was like elder son of an chennamma the working of the state and the life of pinchanamo was slowly coming back to normal but 
destiny was writing a different story the doctrine of lapse was imposed an indian states by the british under the declaration indian rulers were not allowed to adopt a child if they had no children of their own the state become part of the british empire automatically the state of kitur was under mr takri who was the darwar administration of collectorate in charge and mr chaplin was the commissioner of the region both did not accept the new ruler and the region and informed that kitu had to accept the british regime rani chenam and the people of kitu strongly opposed this the crane murdered kitu in this battle hundred of british soldiers were killed along with the crane the realization of defeat at the hands of such a small ruler was too much for the british to swallow they called in bigger armies from mysore and solapur and surrounded kitu nichinama tried her best to avoid war but she failed for 12 days the land queen and her soldiers fought for their food but as it, the common tried tried as mixed mart and duck in the gunpowder used in cannons the rani was defeated and captured by the british army she was imprisoned for life and kept in the fort of belagunga rayana and many other warriors were also captured and sent to darwar after some trials except for the royal family members all other were released now rayana was also a wandered line he want to release kitur and rani chennamma from the britishers for that he want money and an army he decided to rebuild the army before that he went to seek blessing of his queen for that he reached bailangala in the disguise of saint and matrona chennamma he explained his desire and difficulties he was facing to queen was happy and she gave her precious ornaments for this purpose now rayana started to rebuild his army with the help of udhralanna bichagatti chinna basavanna guddikara velappa etc his new army was trained very well in the gori lawar they destroyed british government officers and looted treasuries the british were also faced difficulties continuously due to various revolutionary movement conducted under the leadership of sanguli rayana whose will power was not shattered and who was always ready to attack like a hungry lion the british army was not able to defeat him in an open battle so the british started plotting against him they contacted rayana's distant relatives they asked them for help him to capture rayana for that they agreed to give a large amount of money and land to them these relatives of rayana joined his army and very soon became his faithful people they participated in gorida wars with him and brought him victory and 8th april 1830 they inform about rayana stay in the forest immediately british army reached that place and now was swimming in all at the time he usually held his sword with his teeth while swimming but on the day his relatives took it from him saying that they will keep a watch on the surrounding and told him to swim free when the british army surrounded him rayana was weaponless he was totally trapped rayana was kept in malangala jail a false inquiry was set up and rayana was found guilty he was sentenced to death even in such a condition rayana was thinking about the freedom of kitur he asked to hang him on the banyan tree in 
the british government was surprised but agreed to his last wish on 26 january 1831 at the age of 33 sangoli rayana was hanged publicly at the place the people who were gathered heard the roar of this line of kitu i want to take breath again and again in this country to continue my fight against the british till they leave this punya bhumi this is my last wish he also said what is one raina is hang from every house of kit to kingdom many rainas will take birth and will continue this battle these words of brave soldiers inspired thousands of youth he was aware of this that was the reason he chose nangan it is said that his friend planted a banyan tree saplings near the tomb of rayana symbol of immortality of the brave martyr rayana's tomb unlike a normal tomb 8 feet since the story of that he was over 7 feet tall his bravery and determination created such an impact that even now women in the village follow the custom where they cradle to the banyan tree planted by his friend and wish for us as brave and good hearted as rayana so like this very bravery people are living in lived in india we don't know they are real heroes we are going to celebrate the independence day soon when coming august 15th but we don't know how we receive that freedom how we reach that freedom how much struggle we faced against moguls and british we are taking great pure air from bharat mata but for that we lost lot of warriors lot of kings queens soldiers leaders so we try to find out the unsung heroes who are real heroes those who are real heroes 